Hi friends, today we are going to see how we can create this cool level floating effect in Elementor form. Hi, this is Anand from designtheway.com. Excited to learn? Let's get right into it. So I have a blank contact page over here. Now let's quickly add some content. Let's click on edit with Elementor. Okay, we'll do one thing. For this one, we'll use a template. Let's click on this folder. Now let's search for a contact page template. Let's choose this latest digital agency template. Let's preview it. It's a beautiful template. Let's insert it. Let's update the page. Now let's preview it. It really is a beautiful template. But our main focus will be this contact form. Currently it's a very standard looking form. If you click on any field, it's a, it does very standard behavior. What we are looking to achieve, once we click on a field, the label should float right up here much like what gmail does right now to make this happen we need to tweak the form a bit let's get back to the editor now let's select the form first of all let's enable the labels and now let's click over here i will remove the placeholder i will do the same for the rest of the items Now let's update the page. Now if we inspect this element, let's right click and click on inspect. Let's drag it over here. If you see the structure, if you see the form structure, we can see the label is above the input field. Had this label been placed below this input field right like this, like this, we could have achieved our target with just simple CSS. Since it's not like this, we have to use some jQuery. Let's close this window. Let's refresh the page. Now to add our custom script, we need to use a plugin. Let's press Ctrl E and I will type plugin. Let's click over here. Let's click on add new. Now we'll search for CSS JS. This is the plugin we will use. Let's click on install now. Let's click on activate. Let's go to custom CSS and JS click on add custom js let's name the file as custom js now in the options i will choose the placing as footer we don't need to change anything else Let's remove this code. 
Now let's add a small script over here. Let's paste it. Now let me quickly explain what this jQuery is doing. It's a very simple jQuery. Once we focus on this input or text area, a focus class will be added onto this element of field group. And on blur function, if the value of input and text area is equal to blank, then this focus class will be removed from this element of field group. So our script is ready. So let's click on publish. Now let's check if our script is working or not. Let's click over here and let's click on visit site. Now let's click on this contact. Let's right click over here. Let's click on inspect. Let's click over here. As you can see, it's adding the focus class. If, if I click outside, it will be removed. So our script is working. Now we need to add some CSS too. Let's close this window for now. And now let's get back to the editor. Let's go to advanced. And I will go to custom CSS. Now we'll add some CSS. Let's paste it over here. Now let me quickly explain what the CSS is doing. First of all, we are making the position of this little group as relative. For the label, we are setting the position as absolute. We have placed it 15 pixel from left and 10 pixel from top. And we've set the jet index to 10. We are using some transition for the font size and setting the duration to 150 ms. And now once the focus class is added, what we are doing, we are adding a background color to this level, then a line height and again we are using the transform property to reposition the levels. Now let's click update. Let's see how it looks in the browser. Let's refresh the page. Let's click on it. Yes, it's floating. See, once we click, it floats up. Once we leave, it's back to its position. Now let's add some text over here. See, it stays up there. Now let's quickly check if our form is working or not. Let's fill out the form. Now let's check. Let's click on send. Say the form is working perfectly. I'll add the post link in the description below from where you can download the JS and the CSS. So with some CSS and JS, we can create this cool effect in our form. Basically, we can use this tactic in any form. It doesn't necessarily have to be elemental form. We just need to target the class properly. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.